Hi guys! Welcome again to Dr. Nek Nek Tanong Mo Sagot Ko. So, ang questions na sasagutin natin today is, um, actually, this question had been asked to me several times verbally by personal patients. Also, sa online, marami rin tayong questions about this specific topic. Ang questions ay manggagaling kay Mr. Anthony Reyes, 9693. The question is, Doc, ano kaya dahilan bakit minsan masakit yung heel or yung sakong ko? Lalo na sa umaga pagkagising, ibig ba sabihin nito ay may nagkukulang na vitamins sa akin? Okay, we'll answer your question, Mr. Anthony. Another one, galing kay Mr. Laagang Pobre 101. Bakit nga ba sumasakit ang heel sa umaga? Okay, thank you for your question. As a doctor, lagi kong ginagawa is hindi ako nagda-diagnose immediately by saying this limited information. I prefer na nakikita ko talaga yung pasyente. For example, sumasakit daw yung heel or yung sakong nila every morning. I prefer to see their feet. I need to examine, flex their feet, yung actual, no? At may mga examinations pa rin akong gagawin doon. And palpations, like inspection, the whole feet. I also need to make some history from the patients. Kung may mga iba pa ang sakit sa kanya. And what is the duration of this pain? And are there any other medical conditions na pwedeng associated sa kanyang heel pain or sakong or sa pain over the sole of the foot? So marami talaga ang questions. No? Since limited lang yung informations na nare-receive ko, I will still try to answer your questions. When you say, sumasakit ang heel mo or sakong mo, especially when you step first thing in the morning, the most common cause of heel pain, which is actually noted, especially when you do first stepping in the morning, the most common cause of that is what we call plantar fasciitis. So ano ang plantar fasciitis? As the term implies, yung plantar natin, yung sa heel or sa sakong natin, mayroong fibrous tissue na nagko-connect. From the heel, yung sakong, then yung tissue na yun, nagpa-fans out until sa below the toes, yung big toe, second toe, yung toes mo. The purpose of this plantar fascia, we call it plantar fascia, these ligaments or thick tissue, it supports the toes. Para kung nag-steps ka, hindi siya mag-spread out, no? Para may nakasupport. Para mag-steps ka sa toes mo, hindi siya naghihiwa-hiwalay. It's because of the plantar fascia. Nagkakaroon ng plantar fasciitis pag repetitive ang impact sa plantar fascia natin because of some certain activities like dancing, walking, running, jumping, prolonged standing. These are the risk factors kung bakit nagkakaroon ka ng plantar fasciitis. Also associated na medical conditions, mas tumataas ang chance na magkaroon ng plantar fasciitis pag mayroon kang diabetes, ankylosing spondylitis, or psoriatic arthritis. Bakit mo nararamdaman in the morning lang, right? This is because sumasakit lang yon, especially if magkakaroon ng impact again, especially in the morning. Kasi pag nakatulog ka, wala namang impact sa iyong plantar fascia or sa foot, di ba? So first thing in the morning, doon talaga ang worst symptoms. Doon mo talaga mararamdaman. So, ano ang dapat gawin pag may plantar fascia? Actually, as months or years will pass by, or pag nagdaan ng panahon, mawawala din yung pain. Even without treatment, unti-unti mawawala din yung pain. Pero, sometimes we need to do things para mawala yung symptoms or mag-improve yung symptoms. For example, mainly, ang pinaka-usual na ginagawa namin is a rest. So if your work is dancing, it needs a lot of jumping, it needs a lot of running, bawas-bawasan mo muna. Not totally na alisin mo, pero bawas-bawasan mo. So rest. I-rest mo muna, it will improve the pain. And kung minsan nakakatulong din yung mga shoe wear na mayroong cushion, like may mga gel pad in order to reduce the pain, especially when you step on the floor. So, it is advisable not to step on the floor barefoot. And sometimes we use ice. Ice will improve the pain of plantar fasciitis. Sometimes stretching also helps improve the pain of uh, plantar fasciitis. Sometimes we also prescribe pain medications like the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications like ibuprofen, mefenamic acid. Pero, iwiwi namin kasi lahat ng mga gamot, there's always a side effect. So, always follow the advice of your doctor. 
And sometimes, meron tayong taping. Kumagamit kami ng sports tape. Yung mga doktor alam nilang gawin to. Certain specific tape na nilalagay namin sa foot. This will also decrease or reduce the pain of plantar fasciitis. So, Anthony Reyes, 9693. And Mr. Laagang Pobre, 101. I hope natulungan ko kayo sa inyong questions. Thanks again for watching. Dr. Neknek explain. Tanong mo, sagot ko.